Hello, this is Noseman from the Max on Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to render custom frame ranges and skip existing frames when you are re-rendering an animation. So I'm in production for this uh, huge blockbuster where our hero, Mr. Big Man, is just pointing a finger at everyone. And uh, after a lot of deliberation, art direction, and consultations with the director, we figured out that this is the final scene that needs to be rendered. So I go to my render settings over here, which you will see there's a new little field that says custom frames. And uh, I'm going to say, let's uh, render all frames. So I'm using standard render because it's extremely quick to render and it's very good for a quick tip. So I've set my path and uh, I'm uh, rendering it JPEG, which is extremely good for productions. Uh, of course, that was sarcastic. And I'm going to press this button and it will start rendering and we will wait for a few seconds. The animation is ready. I'm going to close this and uh, I realize that something happened. Let me bring up the folder which I saved these files. So here are all the JPEGs and uh, something happened and frame, uh, let's say 3, uh, 13, 14, 15 and 27 for some magical reason uh, didn't render properly or uh, were deleted by someone like me. So I'm going to press the delete button and there you go. I'm going to remove all these. So now we have this animation here that has some missing frames and uh, I don't remember which ones they are so I need to re-render just those frames. So what you can do now is just go with the same settings over here and uh, re-render and you get a new pop-up. This new pop-up asks you do you really want to override 26 of 31 files and uh, that's because it realized that, that some of those files were missing and now I have an option to render everything again and it will overwrite the previous render render or without saving the images for whatever reason or just render only the five missing frames and you can also remember that choice and when you click OK it will re-render the missing frames and nothing else. As you can see, we have again our full render of 31 frames. Now there's something else you can also do. So let's assume that I hadn't rendered these. So let me go and delete them. And let's go back to Cinema 4D. Let's remove everything from here. So I'm going to delete everything I've rendered. And uh, in this particular case, for whatever reason, I don't want to render all the frames. I want to render five or six frames I want to use to show my client. Well, there's a new option in the frame range. If you go down here, it says custom frames. And when I select this option, I get this custom field. So now, as you can see from the syntax here, we can use coma to create individual frames. We can use a dash to render frame ranges. And we can also use a colon to specify skip frames. So let's go and do this. I want to render frame five to 10, comma. Then I want to render 20, comma, 22 to 24, comma, and 26 to 30 every three frames. And now let's go and render this. As you can see, that rendering sequence, that little script has been satisfied and now I have the renders I wanted or complete. This is extremely useful if you're rendering using a render farm and for some reason one of your nodes dropped out and you missed a number of frames. Now you can select which frames you can render. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.